life catalog that you used to find in the back seat of your chair and or you know in the chair in front of you yes. in a little pocket but went bankrupt earlier this year and has since been missing from all flights but one frequent flyer is trying to bring it back the airlines though may not want it with us now is scott jordan the ceo of scott vest uh, he's behind the efforts to relaunch Sky Mall. Scott, good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Good to be with you. It's Scott what? E. Vest, by the way. Uh, Scott, Scott e. Vest. There is an E in the middle there. I, I didn't know if it was silent or not. Uh, the airlines don't want it. You've called. You've said, uh, I want to bring it back. And they've said, what? Well, you know, the, the fact of the matter is that Sky Mall's value is entirely dependent, in my opinion, on having deals with all the airlines. And unfortunately, uh, most, if not all, the airline contracts with Sky Mall have expired or, or are up for renewal renegotiation. And in conjunction with the, the sale and the auction, uh, it, it's, it's virtually impossible to renegotiate those agreements with the airlines prior to the auction date on March 25th. We've reached out to all the airlines uh, in an effort to understand how receptive they were going to be to entering into these contracts again with the winning bidder. And to date, only one airline, US Air and American, has even returned our calls. And we're pursuing all the others in the, ho in the hopes to sit down and you know, bring back uh, Sky Mall the way it should be done, not the crappy way they've done it previously. I guess I'm just curious why. I mean, it seems like sort of an old school thing to have a magazine, and, and it did go bankrupt because there were a lot of cool things in there, but I'm not sure how many people actually bought them. Well, you're exactly right. Uh, you know, as a longtime advertiser ourselves through my clothing company, Scotty Vest, which makes travel clothing with lots of pockets, you know, one of the things we realized on the other end of it is that it was a poorly run company. Uh, first and foremost, all the things in the catalog were not talking to the people in the airlines. You know, you don't need a six-foot Yeti, uh, but you are a traveler. You know some key things about these people sitting in the airline. They are captive, and they are traveling from someplace or to someplace, and they're either traveling for personal purposes or for business purposes. But there was nothing about the magazine that spoke to those people, and I right. believe... I, I believe, unlike what they said, that there are so many other distractions between your iPad and your iPhone and, and Kindle. You know, uh, yeah, that's they are those distractions, but they run out of battery power, and you are, you crave, people crave to touch a real catalog right. because they're not doing it anymore. Clearly, it was going to be a, clearly it was going to be an impulse buy. You're in flight, you're looking at the magazine, you want to buy something, but you know it's so cumbersome to do that. But with in-flight Wi-Fi, John Ford. Wouldn't that be a possible way to bring this thing back? Yeah, that, I, I was going to mention the same thing. It seems like a, a no-brainer. You should be able to scan something in the magazine and through in-flight Wi-Fi, uh, either reserve it or make a purchase. And I'm wondering, Scott, did you offer the airlines maybe 1% uh, of the gross to sweeten the deal? Because they're oh, always we're, looking we're to make another penny. We're prepared to offer them more than 1% of the gross. I mean, you know, the fact of the matter is you know, we want to be partners with the airlines because without the airlines, we have nothing. Without the airlines, SkyMall is valueless, in my yeah. opinion. You wow. have to have the airlines in that backseat pocket. So because they're providing all of all the access to the passengers, they're going to get the lion's share of the profit. And we just need an opportunity to sit down with them and explain that to them. And well, I'm confident of, that it'll lot, happen. A lot of airline executives watch our show, so you've just let them know. <laughs> Scott, good luck with that. Thanks. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Scott E. Best. Scott Jordan of the best, or Scott Evest. Yes. Yes. All right. We got more closing bells right after this.